Fit like Abdi, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 on the UK map. We're down here in, or we're up here in Scotland, up at Fort William, where I have set the last of the Highland to Glasgow intercities on the go. So, this is the final ScotRail uh, sprinter heading out on that. The other three are already well on their way, in fact, two of them. Should be on their way back, so that's all good. Now we're on to the next line, which is the England South. So let's actually head out to the England South. Now, I can launch it from up here in Edinburgh, because I cleverly, well, accidentally, <laughs> forgot to delete this depot. And the track goes past that yet. Yeah, can come out here and then go into there, which is bloody marvellous. Now, I've electrified all the tracks all the way down to London, because we're going to use electric trains for this. Now, we'll check out electrical multiple units. We're kind of looking for sort of stuff, bigger stuff like this. North of London set yeah, but what I'm looking for... Yeah, see, there's a couple of Virgin trains in here, and London Northeastern would be good. The Virgin trains would be good. Not the Scott Rail ones, possibly, because they are... See, there's a lot of them. Avanti Safe Travels. Uh-huh. Avanti, Caledonian Sleeper, Virgin Trains, Cross Country would probably be good as well. Discord, East Coast. Yeah, but I wanted to use like some of the older stuff. Trans, oh my god, there's so much trains. Great Western, Greater Anglia. Now these three nineties, I have seen a couple in stations, but most of them I've seen like sitting at the sides of lines, waiting to get a designated line to actually go out onto. Now there's the old Caledonian sleeper, uh, and then we've got the sort of different consists, which is pretty cool. But what I think we're going to do is go into electric trains, right? And then we are going to mix this up somewhat. Uh, so start with these. I want a couple of inner cities, right? So add one of those uh, passengers. Uh, these are the ones that fit this so we've got coach so that's the buffet car uh i would imagine one of these is like the sleeper although i don't know which one would be the sleeper i think what i'm gonna do is do the same as four but two of these uh a buffet car All right one of these must be a sleeper right intercity swallow does it tell you F O first open to the standard. Okay, hold the fort. So first open was this one. Add two of them. Add a buffet car. This I know to be the buffet car. Restaurant and you are to the standard open. To the standard open end. Okay, right. So we want. One, two, three of them to the standard open end, and we want you the driving driving brake van. So we shall get two of these, I think. So buy that, and what I'll maybe do is change up the the front runner. So we use the top one. This is the nine one zero seven. Hopefully, it goes to the front. It did, so that's nice, so two of them, and then remove all this. In fact, we can set the first one 
on its way just to make sure that I have electrified everything down here and not sort of left anything a chance nothing popped up to say that it was broken so that is nice that's a real change of events there right now I thought that in here there were some virgin uh, variants of this train that looks not to be the case uh, but we're getting out of GNER uh, in fact we used these two didn't we on the east coast line so we'll use these two so one of them passengers uh, go down because I'm pretty sure in here yeah there's a intercity DVT which is interesting uh, there's no virgin one though uh, these are the two these are 250 sets so if I go into like here yeah there is there is a virgin virgin Abram Darby and DVT virgin no that's okay we can simply maybe just add a diesel version of this train onto the line that is not a problem uh, but right now we want a couple of electrics so what are we currently looking for uh, we're currently looking for this right now uh, that's first open so one two of them we want the restaurant car which is right there and then your end you are not end one two three add an end and then find me right you are the gold one so add that buy right there's one now I want to remove this and remove this go into electrics go back in here and so we've used that we've used that we've used this let's go with a white add that and then go back into passengers and add that and white so add that right bye so those two are good to go now we're probably gonna have to go something diesely now we can use these ones somewhere else I've got a plan to use these ones right so we have Virgin Cross Country Trains, which is probably the one that I would probably go for. Is there any other Virgin Trains? There are, but they're in here, one would imagine. Nope. Nothing in there. Okay, right, so I want a Virgin Cross Country. Now, is there not a Cross Country... There's a okay. I might use a couple of these as well. I want eight trains on here, so we're gonna remove all this. Right, you go away. Now there are three variants: buffered, flush, uh, mixed. Okay, just go with the the standard because I like the standard one. Buy that. Right, so there is one of our virgin. Virgin trains. Now, I can go in uh, diesels. I can actually make one of these. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Tons of inner city stuff, right? Uh, a West Coast forward. I want a, a Virgin cross country in forward. Uh, trains, Blackpool, Rock. Nope. These are all West Coast. West Coast. So is it further down? Virgin Cross Country Yellow Cab Forward. And the one at the back. Virgin Cross Country Forward. Reverse. Virgin Trains HMS Penzance. 
I've got a ton of these as well. Unbranded. Hall trains. Okay, right. What we're going to do is go for one of the cross-country ones. So, Irish Mail. That's cool. Uh, did not know that was a thing. All right, add that. And then go to passengers, and then we need to start messing about with this sort of stuff here. I apologize for the screen going like sort of dark. It sort of does that. Why are you still waiting? Why are you still waiting? Uh, go, please. <laughs> there, go in here. Toot sweet. You've been sitting, that train has been sitting there for ages. Why are you waiting? It's possible because there's a train in here that could be waiting for a full load. Uh, I would imagine it is. Uh, get rid of that, please. Okay, it's moving. This one should be able to move now. Right, I want to get all these trains out, so you need to go. Imminently. Green light, please. Let this train go in. Someone. Somewhere. Somehow. I mean, I could push it on another platform that's not being used. So that's one. Okay, right. You go in on Edinburgh at two. Now can you go? Because there should be nothing on there. Nothing at all. No, it's still red light. Why? I haven't built the trains that actually come down this section and this section of the line is free also waiting for a free path now you're waiting for this guy to come round what is going on <laughs> let me guess you go and uh... ah, okay so wait for this train to move should be a green light possibly there we go green it's heading out right back to the building of trains okay right building of trains by vehicles diesels right we were going for a cross-country version of this cross-country yellow cab in forward cross country forward right add one of them passengers uh, I do believe some of the virgin stock is in here no but the the driving van is there and I need that yeah virgin trains cross country right which one are you it should see next to it right uh, first Two firsts. Alright, we want a buffet. Uh, Virgin Trains Cross Country. We we'll want you. And then we we'll want uh, the down to the bottom. TS. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And then I want one of these. Okay, so buy that I'm pretty sure there is Virgin Unbranded Virgin Scott Reel would it possibly be better because that's got yellow at the front to go for this add that right buy it that is another one down so that's one two three four five and six I think six it's possibly going to be enough. You're still waiting. Holy crap. Right, uh, that's not good. Right, we could go over here and start messing about with that and then come back. And this thing should be on its way. You're now waiting for this train to clear a signal. Okay. I was going to say continue on good sir but it seems like it doesn't doesn't really want to 
continue on. Just wants to sit and lie there and wait. Now, I can release these England, Wales, Scotland. Can I? I can release them from that depot there. But it means they can't they can't get into that platform. Talking nonsense. Alright, do I make this electrified? No, I think I want to go diesels once more, right? So diesel multiple units. Now what I am thinking for this. Now I'd love to use that. But we don't have the the actual purple things. We're gonna add one of these. Right, and then we're gonna add a Virgin West Coast one as well. Oh no 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 no. Uh, right, remove that. Buy that. Remove that. Add that. Buy that. Right, so we've got Virgin. Now, I'm pretty sure at some point I did see. Right, we've got first haul, Great Western, Barbie livery. No, don't really want any of them. Right, these are the West Coast ones which are fine. Passenger, diesel multiple units. Stay in here, don't leave here because there's something else you need to buy. Ah, I want a couple of these. Right, the 10 car, add. Buy. 243 meters, that should be just fine. Now the Virgin's only got a four car version of this, but that's fine as well. So remove that, buy that. Okay, and then I would love like an actual cross country train. So what I might do is the Turbo Star, maybe. I might get right, a Turbo Star 3 car. Add and add, and then double it up. Now, top speed is 100 miles per hour, which is pretty good. 310 capacity, and there we've got our. our somewhat many for these. So that's fine. Right, so. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna buy another intercity train, maybe. Yeah, hold on. I'll go with. Do I make one? Or I'll just leave it as. as standard. And uh, go with electrics. No, don't go with electrics. I mean, there are different variants of these mixed and whatnot. I would love to use that. Or maybe even get a blue. Would I get a blue? No, in fact, I'm going to go with this, but I'm going to go with the an 8 car, right? So remove that, remove that, add that, buy. Okay, so the first one is ready to rock and roll. Yes, W. Go, go my friend. Fly my pretty. There it goes. Okay, so that's good. That is now heading out. Okay, it's taking its sweet ass time, but that's okay. So it's like a sort of mix of old and new on there. Uh, let's check and make sure our electrical number has actually decided to do anything. It has, right? It's not in the station. It's not over here in fact it is right there 
Okay, so they picked up 65 people. It's picking up even more. Right, since the last one was such a complete nightmare to let out of its cage, we'll get the next one rolling. Now, we'll mix it up. We'll get a GNER heading out first. So, this is England South. You go next. Now, what is the next line on London Northeast to Yorkshire? I'm sure we can figure out something nice for that. Right. <laughs> Again, we're waiting for trains to move. I know for a fact that there is another train about to pop its head round this corner. So if this one could leave, that would be super awesome. Right, off it goes. Right, excellent. I don't know where that other train is. There it is. It's sitting way back here. Four of 62. But we're not really too bothered about capacity at the moment. Now, this London Northeast to Yorkshire line. Let's see what we can sort of throw up there. Uh, where am I going? Right, London Northeast to Yorkshire. You see, that's London West. I mean, hold on, I think it's in this station. Not that freight station I just clicked on there, I think it's in here. London North to Brighton. No, it must be in here then. London northeast to Yorkshire, right? What? Where does it? Whoa! Where does it actually go? What? No, 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 no! Don't delete that. Just delete this. There we go. Right now, I can select that and select that and the mind line. So it's going to London, West, Peterborough, Hull, York, Hull, and Peterborough. Right, I have a train I would like to place on this. Uh, where are you going to launch said train? What line does it, does it wish to follow? Right, I can launch it out of here. Right, excellent. Now there's no multiple unit of this train, I think I have to build it. Now I would love to build it, the only pro problem is, right, so what I was going to do, go to here, go down to the bottom please. Right, we've got hull trains. I would like at least two of them, maybe even four of them. So add that, right, she has been added, but where in the hell are the hull trains? The closest I can think of is this. That's the closest I can sort of see to the hull trains, right? Which is kind of a pest. I'm going to check them all to make sure I haven't gone past anything I mean is there a hull trains in here there might be this is an electric trans Pennine cross country mm-hmm yeah that's this is no bueno right last hope Right, all these are Virgin, and then we've got a lot of First Great Western, and then GNER, some Scott Rail stuff. I mean, we might have to go with something else. And what did we think? I thought the closest was at least uh, th these ones. 
Now we've got a first class carriage. One. We've got this. I think there's a buffy further up. No, there's not. Man, that sucks. Okay, go with first class, first class. And then go one, two, three, four. Because I think some of diesels. Uh, now I need some of the the backward facing diesels. Are they in here now? I, I know it used to have some of the reversed in the multiple units. Yeah, new lights add. That's the closest I can think about getting it to. And then we we'll remove that and remove that and add that and that and then we get that so I'm not entirely sure I mean we'll set one on a line right now and see how it looks so this is going literally up to Hull uh, Ireland, London, North East York. Well, it's going. Uh, it's going to York, but T hope. Right, that train took an age there to decide whether it wanted to leave the actual depot. We'll see how this looks. If it looks stupid, then I'll maybe just wait for. It's kind of close. It's probably as close as we are going to get for the moment. Until like some whole train carriages come on they go. I'm pretty sure I thought it actually came as a multiple unit. I'm just gonna check that again. No, high speed, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Okay. No high speed unit in there. So what I'm going to do is, because I want four on here by vehicles, we're going to mix them up with the sort of old school blues, which are pretty cool. Uh, no, don't add two joint together, just buy two. Okay, and then I'll release one of them next. So the other ones, the old school blue ones, do have the buffet car, and they are actually going to be the correct size. These ones are probably not. I suppose it's pretty close. It's close enough. And it's super laggy over here. Ah, it's because we're at London. You're not London, good sir. Where it's terribly, terribly laggy. Right, let's escape. That is not what I think it is. How the hell did you get down here so fast? Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Several trains should have been launched by the time that one actually got down. I guess it took me longer. Yep, you're all the way down here. Holy crap. Okay. Give me another one. Release another one ASAP. Uh, do a virgin one this time. Uh, England South, right? Yeah. So. Go, please. And actually, better check the old EWS as well. In fact. We're not even going to check to see where that train is. We're just going to launch one. Now, we did the inner city number first. Let's go with the Virgin variant, which is the West Coast variant. So, EWS. Right, so this one is heading out. Then we'll have to keep an eye on our sort of hold trains number as well.
I mean, does this see West Coast on it? No. That's kind of cool. Right, so you are heading out. Don't know where the first train is. But no idea. You are heading for Liverpool. So you're just the other side of Carlisle. That's not... That's not too bad, actually. Alright, keep an eye on your hull trains. Keep an eye on your trains out here. Now, as soon as the first... This train enters and leaves Edinburgh. I'm going to set the next one on the go now. This should be a virgin cross country. Yes. Sweet. Alright, could you pick up and then, like, go? <laughs> that would be awesome. And then the next one, we'll do the other inner city. And then we'll get this virgin one to go last. Yeah, I thought it would take the, the other train longer to get down to, uh, to uh, whatever the hell it was going. Uh, London. Alright, we'll check out the whole trains though, because I think that other train might be well on its way. In fact, make life easier for yourself. There you are. There's, there you are there. Alright, it's already at... Peterborough. What is this line? Where does this line go? So you come out there. Yeah, and then you go round to Hull. Okay. And then you go to York, apparently. Okay, next one. Get you going. Uh... RLP, ITC... Highland, Glasgow, Intercity, Ireland, Ireland Transfer, you. Alright, off that goes. There's a freight train. It's Concrete Bob. The legend that Concrete Bob is. Right, these are still pretty cool. Even though I know, and you know, that they're the sort of old school livery. It's still, they're still pretty nice looking. And I think they'll fit fine on that London up to York route. Alright, off it goes. Uh, the condition of ship 5 is poor. That's okay because it doesn't really matter if vehicles are in poor condition or not. They continue to operate at 100%. <laughs> right, there's a big gap here now because the other Intercity and GNR train are way down the line. Right, you have left. I think that's the Virgin train. It has to be. It can't be anything else. Sweet. Right, off it goes. Right, launch the other inner city okay you going RLP England South only two more to go I suspect the first inner city will be back before I launch the next one right so my virgin train virgin west coast train up here is right there that's fine uh, we'll want one of these now, apparently. No, I'm going to launch the cross-country one. No, I'm not. I'm going to launch this one. So you are RLPEWS. Now, these things are pretty cool. And I did say I was going to get them put on other lines. There we go. Nice. This should be quite a long consist. Now, it really should have, for the journey it's making, and the size of it, a buffet car, although I don't think 
this one does. I think the real one in real life possibly has one. Wait, how long are you? You're pretty long. Where does this thing end? Uh oh. Hello? End of train, please. There's the end of the train. So it's a decently long number for this one. Good job it's not on Scottish airports because it's too big for Scottish airports. Right, it is now on its way though. The other one should be taking flight down the valley here. Oh, it's gone. It is long gone. Right, try and release another one of these. God, you're still in here. You are leaving though. That's a boost. Good for you. Okay. See, this is more like what I was going for. Like, there are obviously different train uh, companies. And then when you arrive at the station, it's not like, uh, I love Vir I love the Virgin train, so I'm going to book a flight. I'm going to book a train on Virgin. No. You go in. You look at the board. Ah, cross-country Glasgow to Liverpool, leaving in like five minutes. Go on that train. Or it might be, ooh, uh, First Great Western, somewhere to somewhere, is leaving in two minutes. And then you find out it's at like platform 10, which is at the other side of the train station. And then you're never going to make it there. So you look at the board again and you see, ah, Intercity doing the exact same route and it's leaving 15 minutes after. So that's kind of what I wanted. Different branded trains rolling in on the same line. Everyone knows that uses trains quite a lot that lots of train companies have the exact same routes. I don't know why, it's just so weird. You can leave Edinburgh to go down to London on a Virgin train or a cross country train. It just there are so many trains that do that route. If you want to be in those weird people that likes multiple uh, exchanges or changes of train in your journey then you could jump on like a northern and then get so far down and jump on something else and eventually you will arrive at where you want to arrive albeit in a slightly nightmarish hellish way when we used to work down that land job in York when they booked the trains it would always be something crazy like, ah, well, you, you can get this train. This is the first train available. And it's like, that sounds good. First train available. You can get your first class seat booked. Oh, that's even better. And then it's like, but the train goes to York. It stops at Doncaster. And then you have to get off. And then wait like 40 minutes for another train to take you to like Dundee. And then get on another train that takes you to Aberdeen. It's like, pfft. But why? There's a train in the station right here that goes all the way to Aberdeen. I can see it. I'm looking at it. It's like, ah, but that was like £11 more cheaper, uh, more expensive. That's like, no, no. No, 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 no. Book me on that direct train Aberdeen now. <laughs> it's like, why? I understand multiple connections for flights especially if you're trying to get to somewhere that's not really a popular destination so you have to fly to somewhere then get on another plane to get to where you need to go but trains there will pretty much always be a direct train to where you need to go unless you stay completely out in the middle of back and beyond and then you need to go to a bigger station and then take a smaller sort of branch line route out to it. But most trains do go up the length and breadth of Britain. So yeah, at multiple stop that just did not fly with us at all. It was severely, severely frowned upon. I mean, I've told this story many times when we're getting a flight from Humberside Airport 
and they wanted to, us to fly to Amsterdam, and then Amsterdam back to Aberdeen because it was eight quid cheaper than getting the direct flight from Humberside Airport down to Aberdeen. Eight quid. I was like, what? Are you kidding? <laughs> I will pay the eight quid. And we did. We paid the eight quid, and then we got the the proper flight. Not fly Amsterdam and then wait 11 hours to get another plane back to Aberdeen. That was just complete nonsense. I keep forgetting ads, this one, to Yorkshire. Right, next train is on the go. Next haul trains is on the go. We've only got a few more trains to release. Now, I could go and do another line, but I don't want to then get confused and start screwing stuff up because that is absolutely something that I would do. I am upset that there's no haul trains liveried in carriages. Although these are the pretty close. It would be nice to have the actual haul trains liveried ones. I was about to say, what is that passenger train? But it's not. It's a it's a good old it's making seven million, that's interesting. The freight trains are actually working for a change. This is actually getting too old, so it's not just running it for empty flatbeds with no containers on them. Although it seems like Evergreen seem to be holding the market for container shipping. Which seems odd. Yep, so the freight trains actually seem to be doing quite well. Now that's the last hull trip. Well, it's not the last. Second last. Don't know where the first two are. We should probably check actually. You're the first one? Yes. Right, you're arriving at Hall, but you still need to pass Hall. Oh no, you've been you've been to Hall, you've been to York, you're now heading back. That's actually fine. That is fine. And uh, there's a something. 31 of 40, Birmingham to York, popular route that. These are probably not as popular. Oh wait, they are. Oh well. Here's something trundling down the line. There we go. This is starting to pick up again. So that is nice. Right. The other Virgin train needs to get launched from here. But this one has arrived again. Which kind of sucks. So I might have to release that at some point. <laughs> Later on down the line. Right, this Virgin train is leaving. With 104 people on board. That is good. Uh, it's time for our cross-country double header. Or our double unit cross-country. Double consist. You're going on EWS. Send you on your merry way. Good old Turbo Star. I mean, this one here, right? This cross country Turbo Star, right? Is a three. But I'm pretty sure that you get ones that go from Edinburgh to London, and they're pretty long. And I don't think. I think they've maybe just disconnected the power cars or the driving cars squashed another couple of carriages in and then added another driving car to the end. I don't think they're double consist like this, but hey ho. This is probably as close as we're gonna get. It looks pretty cool though. I mean, unless you were really looking at it side on, you would notice these joined together, but this looks pretty cool. So there's only a few more trains to roll with, we shall leave it there for that episode. Uh, we'll go and find something nice to look at. I mean, that Virgin train is still, oh, it's still in the depot there. I need to launch it. Right, but yes, we shall leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there is more you would like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. 
I've been Danny Boy, this has been Transport Fever 2 on the UK map, and I will catch us later.